Archaeologists working at the ruins of the ancient Roman city of Pompeii have seen some amazing things over the years. Digs that started in 2018 at one part of the well-preserved city have produced spectacular artworks and human remains. In March 2019, another finding showed how people ate at that time and place. Archaeologists digging in Pompeii have found a fast food place from 2,000 years ago. The ruins of Pompeii are some of the most interesting and unique in the world. They are in the south of Italy, near Naples. Pompeii was once a popular place for Romans to go on vacation, and it was also home to about 20,000 people. However, in 79 AD, a natural disaster killed up to 16,000 people and made the city uninhabitable. As the years and centuries went by, Pompeii was forgotten for almost 1,700 years. Many of the buildings in Pompeii were still standing, and human remains and everyday items were all over the place. The untouched ruins showed how the ancient Romans lived, and even now, 270 years after the city was found, archaeologists are still making discoveries that teach us more about that time. The volcanic eruption of Mount Vesuvius caused Pompeii to be frozen in time. This type of volcano has steep sides and a crater on top. Mount Vesuvius is just over 4,200 feet tall and has erupted many times. The volcano has been active since 1906 when more than 100 people died from an eruption. At the time, Italy was getting ready for the 1908 Summer Olympics, which was supposed to take place in Rome. However, the eruption meant that the Olympics couldn't happen in Rome. When Vesuvius erupted, it caused a lot of damage to Naples and the areas around it. Instead of using the money for the Olympics, it was used to fix the area. As a result, the next Olympics were held in London, England. In 1944, during World War II, another eruption of Vesuvius destroyed several Italian villages. In the history of Europe, it has yet to be determined which month this happened. August, October, and November have all been suggested. The eruption was devastating sending a huge cloud of volcanic material into the air. Hot ash rose high into the air. Rock and gas filled the air, probably visible from hundreds of miles away. The only first-hand account of the disaster comes from the Roman writer Pliny the Younger, who saw it from about 18 miles away. Pliny later wrote about what he saw, comparing the cloud of volcanic material rising from Vesuvius to an umbrella pine because it rose greatly on a ridge. Pliny said that these kinds of volcanic explosions are called Plinian eruptions today. They are caused by gas eruptions and a large amount of volcanic rock called pumice. The cloud of volcanic material eventually started to fall from the sky, and soon after, ash and rock started to cover the ground below. Many people seem to have left Pompeii around this time, but not everyone did. The air around the people of Pompeii had been tainted by the cloud of volcanic material making people down below choke. On top of that, some artificial structures began to weaken and eventually collapsed. Pliny the Younger wrote about how scared people were during the eruption. He said that you could hear the screams of women, the cries of babies, and shouts of men. Some called their parents, while others called their children or wives to try to identify them by their voices. Others cried over their deaths or those of their relatives, and some even prayed for death. Many people prayed to the gods for help, but others thought no gods were left, and that the universe was forever doomed to eternal darkness. Eventually, the final blow was dealt to Pompeii, when a deadly mix of extremely hot rock and gas called a pyroclastic surge rushed down the mountain at 100 miles per hour and covered the city. This would have destroyed or damaged buildings and killed anyone caught in it. But when archaeologists started working on the site, the ruins were left open to the elements, putting what's left of Pompeii and the artifacts inside it at serious risk. After poorly done work in the 1980s and 1990s, archaeologists were told they couldn't work on Pompeii anymore, and a project called the Great Pompeii Project was started to protect the ruins from further decay. Archaeologist Teresa Virtuoso found a man skeleton in May 2018. It looked like this person had tried and failed to escape the danger of Mount Vesuvius's eruption. This seems to have affected the virtuoso. 
In an interview with The Guardian in December 2018, she talked about what it meant. She said it made her think about the eruption and how scared this man must have been as he ran. Massimo Osana also talked to The Guardian about what he thought about finding the skeleton. He told the paper that the man with the block on his head was the most interesting part. It was amazing, and it was the first time we found a victim who was so well-placed. As works went on into 2019, interesting discoveries from Regio V emerged. Archaeologists said that dating on a property in Pompeii had turned up a painting of the legendary Narcissus. According to an old story, Narcissus was so in love with how he looked that he melted from the passion burning inside him. Then, at the end of March, another interesting discovery came out of Regio V, a place called a Thermopolis, which means place where something hot is sold. Thermopolis were not rare in ancient Rome. In ancient Rome, about 80 Thermopolis were just in the ruins of Pompeii. These were important places for the poorer Romans who needed their kitchens. Even though they were common in Pompeii, interim director Alfonsina Russo thought the most recent one was important. Even though these buildings are well known in Pompeii, finding more of them in objects that were part of business and daily life still gives us strong feelings that take us back to the tragic days before the eruption. For example, a Thermopolis would have been a small room with a counter and several jars called dolia built into the counter. These jars would have been used to store food. Some of the fancier Thermopolis would have had paintings, like the one found in 2019. One of the pictures on this Thermopolis was of a myriad riding a horse. The scene looked like it was set in a dark blue ocean, which makes sense since myriads are supernatural beings closely linked to the sea in ancient mythology. Another painting showed a scene that might have happened there. It showed a person inside a Thermopolis, which is what might have happened there. The person in the painting was surrounded by containers called amphi in real life. Amphi was also found inside the Thermopolis, which seems to support the idea that the painting represented what went on there. As a result, experts think that the painting may have been a shop sign for the ancient restaurant. The discovery of this ancient fast food joint adds more clarity to what we know about ancient Roman life in Pompeii and excavations of other nearby areas will help us learn even more. Osana said, some people climb up on pillars to take selfies, which makes me so angry. The problem is stupid people who don't realize how fragile and unique Pompeii is. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.